не стрела. Ниоткуда, без ударной ставим и... Russian lessons for Russians in a Russian company. The pupils all have a higher education, but their university backgrounds are not enough to protect them from so many pitfalls in the language of Pushkin. My colleagues pass me work-related documents, and that was how I realized that not everything is perfect, that they didn't work hard enough at school and university. That's where I got the idea to organize Russian lessons. One hour of Russian a week to review the maze of declensions, the varying stresses on words, and the impossible system of Russian verbs. A return to the classroom to find oneself surrounded by exceptions to the rule. Our school days are not so far behind us, but there are things we've forgotten nonetheless, and that we want to understand in order to communicate properly with our customers. For instance, a well-written letter is essential to convince customers. It's never too late to study. As Uncle Lenin said, we must study, study and study again, at any age. There's no reason to blush about this. No Russian is safe from wrongly declining a verb or from placing an accent in the wrong place. So how do you speak Russian well? It's the subject of this radio program, also aimed at Russians. It's been going for 10 years, and every week dozens of listeners rush to ask the experts how to decline a certain verb or correctly pronounce a word that is subject to one of Russian grammar's many exceptions. We don't have a fixed place for the stress in a word, like in French or Armenian, where the stress is always on the last syllable. In Russian it changes all the time, and it depends on the history of the language, the history of the word in the language, on its position in the sentence or how it's declined. Russian syntax is so complex and where to stress words so variable that even Russians get confused. Back in the classroom, these Russian language pupils have little hope of ending up one day with a perfect knowledge of their mother tongue's grammar. It's impossible to speak Russian without making mistakes. Russian's very complex. There are so many nuances that everyone gets it wrong. On the agenda today, the adverb and how to use it effectively in business negotiations.